and if you need to get your shit out of the microwave, you can do that. <laughs> okay, I will. Also, I've realized this is going to be hard for you because it seems like uh, my downstairs neighbor is actually a Cylon mother mothership. I don't know what happens. Is a Cylon? There's this omnipresent hum. Not really omnipresent. I don't know. But I don't know what that is. It's like it's this nerd shit. Ooh. <laughs> A scary robot, and it makes the humming noise. That's what it is. Oh, I'm sorry I'm not into your nerd shit. Uh, look, if you're on a podcast, I don't think you can point fingers about being a nerd. Loser. Ugh. I'm a nerd. My own picture, yeah. I've been hoisted upon it. Fuck you, me dad. So as you can tell from listening, I have two of the premier voices of Let's Play uh, guesting with me today. Uh, two people who've been around since near the beginning, I would say. W- was that what you would say? <laughs> well, I guess so. I don't know, like 2006, 2007-ish. Yeah, since the early days. So the gruffier voice is Dr. Roosevelt. Hello. And the not gruffier voice is Charles. Ladies. <laughs> thank you. Well, thanks for thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Well, duh. I mean, I've known... How long have I known you, Dr. Dr. R.? Uh, uh, personally, uh, um, never. Oh, my God. Can you ever really know somebody? I feel like we may have sniped some messages back and forth, some IMs, some some chats with a Z. Yeah. Maybe those heady days uh, going back to 2008, 2007. God, those days of our youth. And Charles, Hello. we've chatted since the Parallel Worlds days. Yeah. I- Not since then, but a long period of you being absent and then getting back into the scene again. I don't know if I was really ever absent. I think, uh, yeah. Busy. I just, yeah, sure, like with school and stuff. Graduating high school, yeah, I had to do that. <laughs> um, How did that work out for you? I'm all right. I'm good. I'm in college now. I'm about to graduate. Would you say that graduating in high school was a good idea, or should any of our listeners, um, well, rather any of uh, Mr. Beatus' listeners here, Thank uh, you. Just give up right now and quit because their lives are going nowhere. Uh, just do whatever. Get your GED. Do whatever. Do what works for you, man. If what works for you, man, is driving a lawnmower or, like, being a human fart in your mom's basement, go for it. But personally, I wanted to go to school, so that's what I did. And what are your dreams? <laughs> what are my dreams? Um, You're still in school. I mean, Dr. R and I have had plenty of time to have our dreams <laughs> crushed and... Reality is completely shadow over post-education, but you still have that, uh, you know, idealistic yeah. phase going on. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. My dream is to uh, buy a next-gen console. <laughs> That's why you no. went to school? <laughs> but they don't have to be related. They are very expensive. Oh, well, they are. They are fucking but, expensive. You, know, you, need that, uh, you need that degree to be I able to I should say that it. was the main reason why I haven't gotten into LP much at all is because I don't have any fucking money, and I don't have a laptop which can play a video game. So, I mean, what do I do? Have you heard of emulators? Uh, I've heard I've heard of an emulators diet. You can do LPs could, with those. but not something that somebody else hasn't already done. They've all been done. They've the all barrel been is done. Empty. There's nothing left. They've scraped the bottom. And that was just in 2007. <laughs> I mean, this, this month alone, there's been no less than 16 LPs, separate LPs. On uh, Doki Doki Panic. I don't know why. It's very popular. And uh, for those not know, that is a ROM hack of uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. Oh, yeah. Really? I, I thought it was just uh, uh, some sort of a simulation game of the stock market crash. Oh, I think... <laughs> hey, I'm sorry to ask you this in the middle of a podcast, but can you edit out all these eating noises? Or <laughs> you're just going to leave them in? I haven't been hearing any eating noises. I'm eating a lot. I, re- I would really noises. request that you leave those eating noises in there because I find them to be very erotic. In fact, I'm going to amplify them. I'm going to do exactly the opposite. Very erotic. Very erotic. I'm going to remove the non-eating parts of this podcast. Rename the podcast. And it's going to Retsu Talk's going to turn into a how-to on you know how to eat. Some people don't know. Rename the podcast to Charles Eats, a podcast. Charles Eats, which is incidentally what people would say if you ever tried to do a Let's Play. Charles Eats huh? my balls. Yeah, what? She meets her, she meets her lady balls. Her you know what? Race. People said some mean things. Oh. Oh my god, lady balls. No, I was going to say, you know, my 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 recent foray, re-foray into the LP world wasn't met with um, a standing ovation. For I mean, for some perhaps, but 
There were a couple mean comments in that YouTube video about me. <laughs> are you talking about the Galaxy video? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw mostly overwhelming support. Yeah, I saw a lot of... There were a ton of nice ones, and that's kind of made me feel like, yeah, I should do it. But then there were, like, one or two, like, um... I don't know. I won't mention them if it's not cool. Well, Maybe this was cool. in the pre-Google Plus implementation days, so bad comments are gone from YouTube now. Yeah, those bad comments were actually from me because you guys uh, decided to go ahead and do that video without me. Just saying... Scheduling's hard. Roosevelt, you're just jealous, and you said some mean things. I want you to apologize. The mean comments were from him. I refuse. They were from, him. They were from all of my alternate accounts. All the accounts. <laughs> Google Plus. Fuck that thing. I mean, I, actually, you know what? Don't fuck it. Um, it's not that bad. Um, the Google Plus and YouTube merging thing. So you're a regular YouTube commenter? No, I'm not. That's why it's great. Well, that's probably why you don't think it's that bad. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know about you, I would like to keep my uh, actual name as far away as possible from anything I've actually done. Just, you know... I feel the same. Not not, not because uh, I, I think I've done or said some offensive things in the past, I just... The quality is really, really lacking on a lot of my earlier stuff, so it's just... Do people really want to see, like, my attempt at video mashups of a bunch of screaming goats and how that relates to, I don't know... Uh, some sort of Mario uh, uh, RPG video. I don't, I'm not saying I actually did that, I, but that's like the quality of just, crap I Can watch. I just stop and Mario shame you for a second? Because you said, I believe you use the alternate pronunciation of which you and a certain other person are saying. Marvis? Arvis. Arvio. No, it's the Mario. You're saying Mario. <laughs> Mario? Mario. Yeah, well, this Mario. goes back into geographic differences. It I sure believe. does, yeah, but. This is something we've talked about uh, very much in the past, actually. Some people not. call it Mario. Some people say Mario. Other people say, get fucked. <laughs> Let's talk geography. Dr. Roosevelt, where roughly abouts are you hailing from? Uh, Philadelphia. Uh, not, not the one in Mississippi, the one in Pennsylvania. So that's pretty close to the whole Jersey thing. Yeah. So, yeah like, if you were to put an influence map of Mario and Mario... There'd be like a small kind of circle around the Philly, New Jersey area, yeah. I think. But that's about where I it would end. If, if they did science to it, to find out, that's what it would say. Yeah, but Mario would encircle, you know, the developed world. <laughs> yeah. Right. The first world countries. Yeah. I've heard yeah. the earlier videos, the earlier uh, uh, podcasts where where uh, Sloby pronounces it Mario for some reason. Or, Doesn't or he you still pronounce do that? it Mario. And I, I just don't understand that dialect. I don't know where it comes from. I don't understand the culture of northern New Jersey. It's a mystery to me. It's like Somalia. Well, you can't say there's a culture. <laughs> well, that's true. Most of it was washed away. Yeah. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks. Weather. Good job. So, Dr. Roosevelt, what about your first and recent forays into LPing? Well, uh... Give us the timeline. Jeez, Give I us think the deets. I... I think uh, back in 2005, 2006, whenever the freelance astronauts started doing that Vice City uh, Let's Play, I kind of I, I got hooked on that. The thing was like a drug. It was just so entertaining. The, the camaraderie, the humor, the fact that the thread could get very quickly creepy. The and passion. The passion. There, there, was, there was a whole lot of passion there. But, you know, I saw that and I started looking around and... I found a little uh, video here and there, a little Battletoad something or other by this uh, Diabetes fella who seemed pretty entertaining. That was a game that I absolutely hated during my childhood, but I wanted to see somebody else suffer along, and it was a great ride. Uh, yeah, those are the only two LPs I've ever seen. Oh, and, and Parallel. Such a dramatic retelling, though. Yeah. I feel like I was there when you were saying a it. A for effort. You should feel that way. Uh, as for something recent that I've done? Did you also drop off the map somewhere in there between 2007, 2008, and present? No. Or I, did you kind of dip your feet back in every once in a while? I, I had that 100-plus uh, video Let's Play of San Andreas that went on for goddamn ever. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, from sometime, starting in 2006, I think, until about 2008 or 2009. I don't quite remember when exactly it ended, just that my computer wasn't able That's to handle it. That's about how long San Andreas takes to beat, from what I've heard. Uh, e e even according to the speedruns, yeah. Uh, I haven't really done anything except for maybe a couple of Harry Potter Let's Plays for the terrible PC games uh, and attempted Grand Theft Auto 4, which is terrible, and I might have something else in the pipeline coming up Ooh. soon. Grand Theft Auto 5? Oh, God, no. 
but I, I do hope that that game is fun because Cherry Doom has been talking it up. And uh, she are you name dropping? Lying. It is fun. Name dropping. You shameful. You shameful. Mm. Though, if you're gonna name drop uh, Cherry Doom. Yeah, you started a new thing recently. What's it all about? Give us the I deets, did. man. Uh, the podcast is called Holy Cast. So freaking pod. <laughs> uh, so me, Cherry Doom, and Asterisk. I don't know if he's in the LP forums or if he's even in something awful. I think he is. Um, is his name spelled Asterisk or is his name just the Shift Eight? No, it's it's spelled Asterisk, okay. like the word Asterisk. Okay. Is there a footnote shift I need to read along with his name? No. If only. If only you thought it. Well, actually, uh, the footnote is citation needed. Citation needed. Mm, I'm gonna chew this, and I'm gonna talk. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking gross. <laughs> how, how do you feel about chewing your food 32 times, uh, you know, before swallowing? <laughs> do you think that's a good method to use? Um, excuse me, Buster. Buster. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go all white on you there. Um, if you had listened to my audio, you would be able to tell that I chewed only about seven times. That's because I'm trying to eat as fast as possible, so I can podcast. I'm guessing then that you are anti-chewing 32 times per mouthful. Yeah, I am. You're taking your life into your hands with every statement here. So is the seven a very deliberate number? Do you have a problem? No. Do you? Yeah. What is it? I'm here to talk it out, bro. (sighs) What's the problem? I don't want to talk about it. I'm here here for you, bro. Just... Dispense. Tell us about your podcast. All right. So, me, Cherry, me, Cherry Demon Asterisk, have a podcast about the book Fifty Shades of Grey. We go through chapter by chapter, and we point out the things that, mostly the things that are bad and that we don't like, but then we try to think and see if there's any redeeming value to any parts of this book, and, and most of the time the answer is no, but the it's all about the journey, not the destination, and that's why you should listen to it if you like that kind of thing. And if you don't want to read that horrible book, but you would like to know what it's like. So you would say reading the book is not a prerequisite for listening? I would say that. Excellent. But I would only say that from my own perspective. You you mentioned uh, that you've done a couple of these so far, and you sent me one to listen to, and every time I try to listen to it, the only free opportunity I have is during my lunch at work. So I start to listen to it, and then somebody comes over to have an engaging conversation with me. About Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, and I, I, <laughs> it's, it's just spoilers left and right. I... I want to learn about it from from you guys. Well, maybe instead of listening to podcasts at lunch, you should have your social life at lunch. It's, it's clearly the social, clearly the social force is what's driving most of your life here, not the Whatever. podcast. Whatever. Don't devote your life to podcasts. Except Retsu Talk. Except Retsu Talk. Thank you. Welcome. So, so just to be clear, then it is cool to listen to Retsu Talk during uh, my lunch break, just not the Fifty Shades of Grey podcast. Which Absolutely. is it available on iTunes? It is not available on iTunes. We do have a site. It's holycast.tumblr.com. So where is the podcast hosted, if not on iTunes? I'm not at liberty to answer that question. <laughs> My God, some shady shit going some on. Some shady shit. Some 50 shady shit. 50 shady shit. Gray going on. I assure <sighs> you, there are 50 shadows of mysteriousness going on with this. Maybe you should just check it out. Maybe you should all just check it out. Um, hmm. I could even go and read... A section of the book to convince you not to read the book, but I don't know if I feel like doing Do that. it! I would be honored. All right! You're going to change your mind in a second. Hey, you're talking to the guy who just ripped his pants off like a stripper. So you have custom-made pants that do that? No, no. I, there was a slight tear on them, and they were they were very worn. And this is the kind of riveting conversation that people expect during a podcast, but basically it got caught on a bookcase, and I ended up tugging at it, and they tore off like a, like a tiny t-shirt on Hulk Hogan. Were you fucking the bookcase? How does that happen? Not yet, because the bookcase wasn't dressed uh, uh, appropriately enough for it. Mm. Wait a second. I, wait a so second. Wait, so, so you had a boner, though, when you, you brushed it? Because that would have... I mean, your pants would have to be sticking out in some way. No, like no, no. There, I keep a variety of tools on it. It's one of those Ikea, like, the four-cube style uh, bookcases. Ikea pants? So I have a variety of... Yeah. yeah. When you say tools, are you, are you talking about your boner? Yes, I'm talking about my 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 boner, uh, specifically, uh, you know, screwdrivers and stuff as well, but mostly mostly my erection. Mm. So when it, you know, if I happen to walk by, and I go to like pick something up from one of the lower cubes, well, you know, this is what happens. I get caught, and I go to. So did like, the bookcase cause the boner, or was it something else that? It's um, a very slutty that. bookcase. Okay. You said that the bookcase so not wood. appropriately dressed for fucking, and I w- I would like you to explain what that means. So was it stocked with Fifty Shades of Grey, or did it have some, like, 
scientific literature? I, I, I am extremely uh, Jewish in nature, uh, you know, just by virtue of the fact of how I was, uh, how I've been raised. So it was not draped in a sheet with a hole in it. Therefore, I cannot so approach. So, but you consider that attire and not like accessory. All right. But fair enough, fair enough. I'm not here to question you about your religious beliefs or your, your feelings. So the bookcase was showing just a little bit of base? Uh, just the, the tiniest bit, and it is in the most depressing shade of uh, either dark blue or black. I can't really tell based on the light. You saw just a little bit of that reference number Z, and you're like, oh, man. Oh, my. I need a minute. <laughs> I see Books, you're man. For, for clubs. Let's all take it. Charles, did you acquire the book? I did acquire the book. Did you get the book specifically to do this podcast, or did you just happen to have I, it? It's actually, I have an electronic copy, just to not mislead you here. It is not a real book that I would put in my bookcase, ever. So it's a padouf. Yeah, it's padouf. Le padouf, as the French call it. Is right. that a uh, three-part series? Is that my understanding? It is a three-part series, and actually it's really good that I'm here to represent the podcast, because I've read every single book ahead of everybody else, so I'm the most qualified to uh, answer some questions. And did you read them all specifically for the podcast, or did you just happen no, to read them No, it was all? for the podcast. I, but I will... I'll, you're I'll a fast you, reader. You said you're only two. I'm suspicious, I'll Charles. give you a tasty tidbit. When I was working at a craft store, the name of which I won't mention, um, in the break room, there was only one book. That book was Twilight, and I didn't have anything else to do during my lunch break, so I read Twilight of my own volition. In the in the lunchroom of this uh, craft store, over the course of a couple weeks, it was not very good. Are you terrified? A, a little bit. I'm just a little teary. That's a very sad story. Well, you should be. You should be both sad and terrified. Would you say it's like the Hunger Games for adults? No, I would not say that. Well, I don't believe you. Twilight is not for adults. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey, on the other hand, is. There's sex in Fifty Shades of Grey. There's not sex in Twilight. At least not, apparently not until later. And even then, it's still not. There's really three books? There's really three books. All right. It's a story that just can't be contained to one volume. You have to understand. Is it going to become it's like a Harry epic. Potter-esque saga? No, it's not. It's going to have like seven books, seven, mo eight movies? It was just a trilogy. They are making a movie, though. To my chagrin, I've discovered. Because of the casting? What do you mean because of the casting? No, the whole... Or do you disagree with the casting, or you just don't like the idea of the movie? Yeah, the idea of the movie in general. I think it's a little silly. I mean, first of all, it's, it's you know, it's not it's not PG-13. Some freaky shit's gonna occur. So there's that. I don't think it's very marketable. And... Well, what about people who like sex? I'm a gay sex liker. Mm. I'm a straight sex liker. Mm. Those are the two different reactions of sex likers. As a and that's the marketing pitch for the book Indeed. and the movie. Indeed. I, I hope they actually just use something that basic in their advertising, because I, I, would, I would go see that movie. Oh, boy. I mean, wouldn't you if it was just like, sex? <laughs> <laughs> and then the poster or whatever. You got a commercial. Yeah, we're done. We're done here. You, uh, you know which company is actually making the movie? Because you can just send this MP3 file to them or this WAV file, whatever you want to. Send them uh, right now and oh, tell them to cut you a check. I have people who do that for me. Roosevelt underscore SA. <laughs> Getting formal. Well, that's just that's the kind of girl I am. Okay, so do you have an excerpt of the book to share or two? I suppose I do. Um, well, actually, wait, let's do it like this. Do you want something that's mild, spicy, or I'm gonna die? <sighs> this is Retsu talk. I think we need to go to the extreme. The extreme! Alright, I'm going for it. I'm finding it. I'm gonna look. It's see the the problem is there's there's so many pages and not so much patience and I just <laughs> This is what happens when Slow Beef tells me I'm not available to do podcasts, so can you do something on your own? This is what yeah, happens. Slow beef. Just FY Slow Beef loser. if you're listening. Why did you why did you ditch your bro? Why why did you have why did, is, why did you allow this, this you to occur? Is this is this because he knew he was my teen idol and he couldn't face the shame of not living up to my expectations in the actual chat? I think that's chat? probably it. There's a lot of social pressure that happens. I found a section. I found a section. I mean, Slowby faces a lot of pressure being the Justin Bieber of Let's Play. He does. That he does. Sometimes you just need a break. Sometimes <laughs> you just need a break. I found a section for us to read. To be read. 
to be listened to. Are you still no, looking I'm for not. the sauciest uh, I, section? I, you know, I, I sort of lied when I said there was actually like a, a difference between levels of ecstasy or whatever you like. So it's more just like a consistent level of... Really what I should have asked is like, would you like genitals to be mentioned or would you not like genitals to be mentioned? Hell yeah! All right, well... I don't think I can. That's what the librarian asks me every time. Ask me for a book recommendation. I'm afraid it, I'm getting a little bit of cold feet. This is really disgusting. But you know what? It's not going to be worse than what my old but what my old podcast is going to make me do. So I'll just I'll just <laughs> I can't do this. Why is it worse? I mean, maybe it would help you if you play the recorder what? first. Well, you should you should you should explain why I would even play a recorder in the first place. As well. I'm absolutely baffled. I could not figure out why you were playing the recorder. I was that. um. <laughs> okay, please don't mention that. First of all, um, second of all, I made a recorder song for the outro of the podcast, which you, if you listen to the podcast, you'll hear it. But initially, the outro was going to be something much more disgusting. Where, I, so I played some recorder, you know, for sort of mood music, like just you know, use your minds. Are you playing a recorder right now? That was my... Yeah, I was. Um, okay. And then I recorded some lines, like, of the guy speaking, like, You're so tight! And, like, Bleh! or You know, whatever else he says. And I did some of the girls well, and I, I smashed them all together, and I made a really beautiful thing. But I thought, well, this is probably going to scare people away, so I better just keep it to the recorder. And that is what Roosevelt was talking about. Really? Oh, that's a shame. I enjoyed that. Like, I blasted at that for my roommates when you sent that to me, and they were yes. absolutely they well. In, in, found enjoyment it. was the uh, that was the motive. I set that to my ringtone. You did not. Don't you? Don't I, you flatter I, I could, this girl? I I could do that right now. I could do that. I have the oh, technology. Yeah, <laughs> are you reading from the book right now? Yes. Okay. All right. No, are you ready? Are you seriously ready for this? I'm all set. All right. Here we go. Suddenly, he sets up and tugs my panties off and throws them on the floor. Pulling off his boxer brief, his erection springs free. Holy cow! That was her internal narrator. What, hang, hang on, hang on. <laughs> no, no, hang, hang on. on, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Her inner monologue is Bart Simpson? Yes. Lots of holy. Right. Holy shit, holy cow, holy fuck. So on. All right. Anyways, he reaches over to his bedside table and grabs the foil packet, and then he moves between my legs, spreading them further apart. He kneels up and pulls a condom onto his considerable length. Oh no. Will it? How? <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry, he breathes, his eyes on mine. You expand it too. He leans down, his hands on either side of my head. So he's hovering over me, staring down into my eyes, his jaw clenched. Eyes burning! It's only now that I register that he's still wearing his shirt. You really want to do this? He asks softly. Please! I beg. Pull your knees up, he orders softly, and I'm quick to obey. I'm going to fuck you now, Miss Steele, he murmurs as he positions the head of his erection at the entrance of my sex. Oh, I did. He whispers, and he slams into me. Do I need to keep going? Do I need to keep reading this? <laughs> God, yes, keep going. <laughs> I cry as I feel a weird pinching sensation deep inside of me as he rips through my virginity. <laughs> Edit that out, please. It's, um, it's, the author is a virgin, right? No. Isn't the woman in that supposed to be, like, 50? She is a sex haver. She has had sex. <laughs> I don't you know how proof of that. Is. Get fucked, sex havers. Well, she has a husband, but I guess that's not pretty good. No, no, um, no. Alright, where was I? Ripping through my virginity? Her husband is like a cardboard cutout of Ryan Gosling or something. <laughs> I wish that was true. Oh, man, Ryan Gosling. I want a cardboard cutout of Ryan Gosling. Where, I've, I've been, what have I been doing? I've been reading Fifty Shades of Grey out loud when I could have been marrying Cardboard Gosling. What about Cardboard, cardboard. Captain America? Oh my god. I take it all back. Captain America. <laughs> I love him. Well, don't worry. At this rate, that uh, Cardboard Captain America marriage is going to be legal in your state soon. I'm so happy. Ooh, Virginia. No, I think, I think nothing is ever, we did a lot, we did get a new governor, but Cuccinelli's gone. So maybe it will happen. What is his stance on uh, Captain America cardboard cutout marriage? I understand that was a really big like turning point in the election. It's a sin in the eyes of God. Because God's a DC fan? Yeah. 
Hmm. So it is. Huh. That's what the Pope said. That one time. That I'm sure you all remember. Never forget. Never forget. Never forget. <laughs> I've forgotten the name of the Pope. It's a mystery to me. I'm not gonna... It doesn't matter. This is not This is not a podcast about Popes. I've forgotten anything else we were going to talk about after you read that excerpt. Oh, am I done reading it? Please, please oh, let oh, me Oh, you weren't done. done. Please let me oh, be please. done. No, this is actually all part of the... Uh... Uh, the book. It's constantly being Yeah, we're, we're all reading parts of it There was right an now. interlude yeah. where three people were talking about how they didn't remember the name of the Pope and Ken Cuccinelli. Um, <laughs> oh, God, where was I? I don't... Something about uh, taking her virginity? Oh, yes. I cry as I feel a weird pinching sensation deep inside of me as he rips through my virginity. He stills, gazing down at me, his eyes bright with ecstatic triumph. His mouth is open slightly, and his breathing is harsh. He groans! You're so tight. You Okay. I nod, my eyes wide, his hands on... Ooh, no, that's not... I nod, my eyes wide, my hands on his forearms. I feel so full! He's... <laughs> he stays... Did she just eat? I think she did, I think... <laughs> did she give a blowjob first and we weren't told about it? What's going Perhaps, on? Perhaps, maybe she's, uh... That was part of the prelude. She's feasted on so many okay. talks, I just... I don't know. He stays still, letting me acclimate to the intrusive, overwhelming feeling of him inside me. I'm going to move, baby! He breathes after a moment, his voice tight. Ew! That was her internal narration. He eases back with exquisite slowness, and he closes his eyes and groans and thrusts into me again. I would like to interject here. Part of the things that we go over in that podcast is her deplorable use of grammar. And right there was a very bad, some kind of comma crime. Some kind I've heard of... her deplorable use of just English in general. Well, she, so yeah, yeah, everything, she, anything. She hasn't sign. had, like, a speaking word or anything. That, that I'd she... like to rip through her vocabulary, not the virginity. <laughs> oh, what's this weird pinching sensation? I think this book is really bad. <laughs> I think I've got a hernia. Maybe you should set up some sort of a uh, racism style thing for her. <laughs> 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 uh, I can't. I can't do this. I can't read this anymore. This is bad. I no, think I'm done. done. I, I so, think I can't. So if you want to hear more, you got to tune into the Holy Cast. I will, let's just say, let me just say this for you guys. We do not, we don't start with the sexy scenes. The book moves at a snail's pace. If sex scares you, it's all right. Just listen to the first ten episodes. There's not going to be any. Hey, people listen to Retsu Talk ain't afraid of sex. We only have a sex haver listenership. <laughs> sex havers only. Yeah. Sex havers represent. Anyone else gets too scared. Well, they they check for your um your ripped virginity, your pierced virginity, and uh, that's that's how <laughs> right. you are allowed to access on iTunes. There's a scanner for that. What's this odd pinching sensation in my ears? Oh, it's Retsu Talk. Oh, it's oh is that what the new uh, ID scanner is on, uh, on most Apple products? Yeah. Yeah, it they, is, yeah. yeah. Insert something in there to prove your non-virginness? That would be a, a frippled virginity scanner. Yeah, you have to yes. stick the scanner up your butthole. Up your butt. Up, up out anywhere. And for some reason, if you in your butthole, it knows if, you've, or if you're a virgin or not. You know what they say. Butt. The butt knows. Is that what they say? Do they say that? Who there, says no, that? No, there's, there's... The butt knows what it wants. There, there's, the, there's a nose inside of the anus, which uh, it, it, the state of it will reveal whether or not... Yeah. I don't need to go on. That's We're why they there. have uh, drug-sniffing butts that the police hire. Mm-hmm. They just, uh, that's why so many people stick drugs in their butts. They just, you know, they're just looking for drugs. And they want their butts to get high, because the butts and can sniff butts the drugs. High. That sounds about right. I mean, have you ever had a butt high? That sounds about right to me. A butt high? A butt high. <laughs> well, you know, your butt sniffs the drugs. So, like, if you have cocaine or something, you get a butt high <laughs> from putting them up your butt. Retsy talk. The butt snip. Let's do talk. Let's just, I mean, let's talk butt drugs. Retsy talk. Let's talk butt drugs. <laughs> That's the subtitle. That was always been the subtitle of this, and it took 40 episodes. Is everybody here pro or anti butt drugs? Discuss. I'm, I'm pro butt drugs, frankly. I believe um, those who do the butt drugs will be judged under God's gaze, and uh, by God's gaze, I mean like his actual. He has some some people of the homosexual variety. I'm, I'm tired of this legislation outlawing butt drugs when it has been shown to have no negative effects on anything except your butt. I mean, who uses their butt that much in public? 
you might fart a little bit. Who? What is a fart drug? A butt fart? A butt drug in? Okay. Okay. Butt fart drug. Butt fart drug. Butt drug fart. Butt drug fart. <laughs> butt drug fart. It took me that long. I'm sorry. I'm my butt's really high right now. It's it's cool, man. Have you ever done an LP while your butt was high? That's the only thing that inspires me. I got a contact <laughs> high from somebody else that had uh, butt drugs. <laughs> oh, someone's butt touched your butt and you got a butt high? Yeah, it was a real ass to ass situation. <laughs> um, butts to butts. And you know where that concept came from? The Romans. Ren and Stimpy. Oh, yeah, right. Remember it's... the Happy Happy Joy Joy thing where they went butt ass to ass? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. It's the, it's the... Well, for I'm an old man. It's the way to deepest friendship. Their butts were high. Butt drugs. Butt drugs. Butt dorks. Wow. Wow. I almost feel like we got off topic what a little bit. What a scintillating bit. ass conversation, but let's move on. <laughs> so let's go from the ass to the mouth for a second. Okay. With a different topic. Woo! It's the best transition I've ever heard. Ever. Oh, I'm sorry. It's no, and there's that, but. No, that's much better, actually. All right. Just one up to yourself, my friend. Did you follow up to that um, ass to mouth thing or mouth? Oh, oh no, I, I I wasn't sure if you guys uh, had anything. I'm hanging uh, as on far the ledge of a cliff here, Roosevelt. Uh, perhaps there is something to be said about those upcoming uh, next generation consoles coming out at the end of the wanna, week or next week. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the TVS. That's not a next gen console. Eee! I mean, is it the, the PDF? No, the 2DF. Oh, the 2D. Oh, yeah. The 2D right, app. right. That Please. little sleigh thing. Please tell me you know what I'm talking about. That's a last gen console. That's a 3DS minus one. And yet. Why can't they just make 3DS games playable on the DS? Tell me that. It's a, it's a different shaped uh, card in the um, slot, so unless you shave down that side, you can't <gasps> use it. God, you dumb no girl. Way. Hoist by my own girl, Petard! I Fuck. can't help but feel like you're mocking me here. Retsu Talk's turning into real talk. Retsu Talk is turning into girl talk. I like that uh, band. I like every Mario. Every Mario, I'm sorry. every girl talk. Every Mario. So, uh, I, let me let me ask you then, uh, Mr. Beatus. Sure. Uh, what is your opinion on these new consoles coming out? I understand that you've had some words said, mostly unkind, about the the Wii U which apparently has been out for, like, two fucking years now, and I did not notice. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the only unkind words we really had to say about it were just based on our experience with PAX and having to negotiate through, like, a dozen different uh, confirmed screens before actually getting to play a game. And then the whole thing with, you know, it not having much of anything to play, which even Nintendo at this point has come out and said. Uh, they've kind of informally apologized for the uh, lackluster reception and uh, lack of the uh, the fact that their vision hasn't been fully realized on the Wii U yes. yet. Did they accidentally release it like two or three years early? I mean, I, I know the big thing that a lot of people were talking about was that uh, Wind Waker remake or Wind Waker HD. And then there was talk that they were going to put in the, the dungeons that they cut. And then Nintendo was like, well, no, we got to continue this disappointment train. So uh, no Yay. extra dungeons. Go fuck so yourselves. Die. Too bad. That would have been fun. They are going to have the 3D, what's it, 3D World? Hmm. The Mario game? Super that I'm Mario forgetting 3D the Land? complete title of. The one but it's the... kind of like the new Super Mario Brothers thing, where you have the multiplayer opportunities, but you introduce the 3D into it. And the demo that I saw of it looked like kind of a, well, it looked fun from just the single player perspective, but then you have four different people in a 3D environment all at once going everywhere. I mean, you thought the 2D four-player Mario was crazy and <laughs> gave you an opportunity to be a dick to each other. I can only imagine the four-player, unless Friendly Fire is just turned off. I think you'd have to have it turned off. Is this the one that has, like, the cat suits and everything? Or am I thinking yes, of yes, just... the cat suits. Didn't that come out, like, two months ago? Did it not? Jesus Christ, I'm really... I gotta get my Are my wires together. totally crossed, or is it a 3DS game? I, I thought it was gonna be a Wii U game. I thought Wii it was title. a Wii U game, yeah. I thought it was 3DS, honestly. But then yeah. again, I'm, totally like... Totally lost. Honestly, I would have preferred that they had they kept going with the Mario Galaxy thing. I agree. For once, I agree. I mean, imagine with the slight graphical upgrades, the whole Galaxy thing, which tests the limits of the imagination. 
Imagine test limits of your own imagination. But I guess since Galaxy Two is just kind of a continuation of leftover ideas from Galaxy One, they were just plumb out by then and just wanted to move in a different direction. But I just love Galaxy so much. I love it so much that I have not updated my Let's Play of it in probably at least a month now. That's all right, because real life happens. This is some behind the scenes talk, but I'm really glad we all record locally because Charles, your internet sounds like it's dying. At this yeah, point. it is okay, dying. I thought but that was the listeners won't hear that. Really. Glitching the fuck out. Let's see if I can go over here. Uh, Just a little I, behind the scenes. I, I was going to say, I've never played Galaxy. I've never played Galaxy 2. And so far, I've only watched a handful of the, uh, of the videos from your Let's Play on mm -hmm. Galaxy 2 in preparation of trying to understand who this Mirio is and what he's all about. Right. And, uh, he's a complex character. It's not really becoming any clearer to me. Is he perhaps a red man, or is he the green man? I don't know. Mario, Mario is the red man. And Luai Guy is the green man. Or Luigi, if you it's, prefer. It's, it's one one of the two Guai. is the most common pronunciation yeah, of it. Yeah, Luai Guai. Luai Guai. Isn't that wall Luai Guai? Yeah, you want them Luai Guais, eh? What would you say, then, is the most appealing thing about that game as somebody you know who's experienced it? How would you sell that to me? Because I look at it and I just think, oh, this just looks like some dumb, stupid shit that they had left over from Sunshine. Fuck oh, that game! I played it. I never played Sunshine. That's myself. one game I have played, and I will talk about it. It was fun. It was alright. It was like, a, it was like a Mario 64 with uh, water. That was alright. So why was the game such considered by many, not all, but many, to be a disappointment? It was. It's probably the most negatively received Mario game that I've ever seen that I have not played personally. That's not on the uh, uh, that 3D Nintendo system, the Virtual Boy. The ver well, yes, it's um, counting that. Yes, I would say that's just because uh, people don't know how to appreciate things in life. Damn. Damn. And Roosevelt, you have played Sunshine as well? I have actually not played it. I saw somebody did an LP probably about four years ago, I think, on it. And uh, it was surprisingly good, but I don't remember anything about it other than it was possibly a video LP or maybe just an audio one. Where it was described like a talkie. Let me ask you this. Have you played the old Mario games? I'm talking NES. Of course. SNES. Okay. N64 even. Have you played that shit? Of course, absolutely. Sure. Well, Galaxy is the best continuation of that. I think it evolves Mario in exactly the way you would want. Kind of taking them, them good childhood... I don't know why I'm lapsing into a southern accent as I say this, but taking them childhood memories and them childhood entertainment you had, playing them Mario games and transferring it into an entirely different dimension. Yeah, I did find that cool. I played galaxy for two seconds let me ask you this okay if they were to go and by they i mean the media or you know some production company and decided that they were going to remake the wizard is that a movie that's good enough to appear or is that a, a, a game rather that's good enough to appear in that movie's tournament for the plot line would they be showing off mario galaxy or would they be showing off something else now reminder in the original movie it was mario 3 before the majority of the country had seen it hmm is it mm. something that looks so different from what people are used to, is so revolutionary, that you just think, holy shit, this is something I want Fred Savage to be unbelievably good at. Well, did you have that same reaction when Mario 64 first came out and you first yes. played that? Uh, no, I did not. You were not going on? I did not. Uh, I, I thought... It no, I was like, oh, wow, this is pretty cool that it's in, like, 3D, but I, I'm really uncoordinated, so the controls, uh, if mm. anybody's seen me play a video game, control is not my big so, thing. So, what you're saying is, you weren't impressed because you are a video game's loser. I, I am bad at video games, so I wasn't as impressed with that as, say, with something like Luigi's Mansion, which really just uh, switched things up a little bit. Or, or, or fact, yeah, in fact, actually, the gameplay itself for Mario 64, I wasn't as impressed by, but I really liked what they were able to do with, say, the music and some yeah, of the I storytelling aspects. Um, I really like Luigi's Mansion as well, but I have to stop you there. You are not the worst gamer on the face of the earth, nor, no, not even in this podcast. That would be me, because I am a woman. I am bad at the video game. Please teach me. 
I feel as though you're just reinforcing negative stereotypes. I just, I just can't change how I am. <laughs> <laughs> Men's rights. Men's rights. I hope you're posting this to Reddit. You know, I feel like, Roosevelt, I feel like you and I are coming from two different perspectives here. Because I, I jumped from N64 to Wii. I had never had a GameCube. So I feel like I'm missing out on these games, like your Luigi's Mansions, your 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 Sunshines. Your Sunshines, your Mansions. So maybe that gives me a different sort of appreciation for Galaxy, just going from that kind of blocky-looking 3D of Mario 64 to this very, very gorgeous, spacey Mario Galaxy thing. Twice! Well, you know, that that's that's a very good point. Let me let you in on a little secret here. Let me tell you... Some words. Say some words. Okay. I am one of a handful of people in America that actually bothered to have a Virtual Boy, and I bought it when it was oh. deeply discounted. Yeah. It was on sale from a Blockbuster for about $30 at the end of the system's life. Oh. And with that, I was able to pick up the uh, Wario Cruz title. I know. What a very good <laughs> game, or Mario Light game, can be you know, in, in uh, when it breaks the the mold of just strict platforming, you know, I understand, you know, those leaps and bounds and what it's like to see something that's so amazing that just completely defies your expectations. But with something like sixty four, it just was a blocky pile of shit. That being said, that being said, you know, going okay. from my expectations of this is what a terrible system is like and this is what they can do with it. And then here's the 64, and then seeing what they can do with the GameCube, and then seeing what they refuse to do with the Wii or the Wii U, make games. You know, it's just it's uh, it's not hard to be a little cynical. Hmm. So you liked the Virtual Boy? Uh, there were some very nice things about it. I liked that you could play for a half hour and give yourself a migraine. I thought that was a neat feature. Did you have to have LASIK surgery after you were done playing? Uh, no, actually, for a brief period of time, I was uh, nearly totally blinded, and then after that, my vision miraculously healed. After you shaved off your eyeball tumors, yeah. it uh, no, it, it's just oh yeah, yeah. I, it, it's honestly, it's a miracle system. If you can pick up one today, well, you probably are actually stuck in 1998 if you or 1996 if you could pick up one. But. Well, Roosevelt, if you want to get semi caught up on modern day Nintendo on the cheap. Nintendo has made a miniature version of the Wii. I did see the Wii, that. mind you, not the Wii U, I, mind you. The 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 red one that was sold in Canada last year. I actually I have a Wii downstairs. I played through New Super yeah. Mario Brothers. Mm -hmm. It was a fun game, but I had already played that game the previous year when it was the one on the DS. I three played that one. Just I too played that one. You know the Wii U has Luigi U. I, well. I did see that, actually, uh, for sale at my local GameStop. No. Uh, have either one of you played that? Do you think that Nintendo is trying to use Luigi as a marketing tool? Could they have known that he's blown up in popularity on uh, sites like Tumblr? It's the year of Luigi, you know, 2013. It is his year, yes. That's true. I've seen so many uh, Tumblrs about fat-shaming Luigi. <laughs> Wait, fat shaming Luigi? Shouldn't it that be Mario that gets shamed? Well, you know, he's a little pudgy too, but uh, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm saying that I've seen tumblers to that effect. I think the one fat well. shaming here is you, my friend. Oh my mm. god, it's true. I prefer a real uh, thin piece of meat. They're both Italian. They eat a lot of carbohydrates. They need that. They it's, need it's, that. I mean, look at all the exercise. They do a lot of cardio guys, during the day. Guys, it's bio truths, all right? Is is that the uh, is that the canon answer? Are they actually Italian plumbers, uh, plumbers from Brooklyn? Did, did we ever? That's my understanding from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Yeah, but the show and the game, different universes. I think. Is it official though? Did Nintendo release a timeline alleging as much? Mm, it's no Zelda that way. I, I would like Nintendo to put all the Mario games into a timeline. Because do we know that it goes in order? I, th I feel that it does, yeah. One, two, three, world, 64, sunshine, galaxy, galaxy 2, and then you got all these portable systems, you got your RPG games, 
Mario's been through a lot of bullshit in his life, but we don't know what order he's gone through said bullshit in. I don't know if it's a creative flair on Nintendo's part, Nintendo of America, I mean, but uh, when I was a, a young lad reading through the, the manuals when you get those games, they would each refer to the previous title or the, the acts of the previous game in that game's story. Of course, mm-hmm. again, I don't know if any of that was actually official. Well, still, you know, I mean, Nintendo. I stand by that. I mean, when I was playing these games growing up, it was like a linear progress- progression. So, earliest Mario game that was released, that was like point A. Latest Mario game release, that's point B. And everything in between, there you go. Or, or we could go with the definition of circular time and just like the timeline, you know, you can just repeat it eternally. It's all the same. He's just reliving adventures, phases. Etc. So he's essentially Sisyphus. He's caught in that wheel of reincarnation. He's just always living out his Mario stuff, and you know maybe it's different worlds, maybe it's the same world, but so it's all in Mario between stuff. some of the say later Mario games, they never thought maybe put a GPS on Peach, maybe an ankle bracelet of some kind, just to you know monitor the situation given previous events. I think given the only history. technology that exists in the Mario world is the ghost capturing technology. Those who do not learn from Mario history are doomed to repeat it. Didn't they have technology in that Super Princess Peach game? I don't know. You tell me. I never played the Super Princess Peach game. I, I've never played it either. I think that there was an LP on it. At then one why point. you say you know, stuff to be about my... it? I'm just asking, because I don't know if you guys have. You're you're a bona fide girl. You should know I this. That, that was a game that was marketed directly to you. Yeah, that should you. be the one game you've ever played and nothing <laughs> I'm else. I'm a girl. I love Princess Peach. <laughs> Well, actually, no. You also get a pass if you played Imagine Party uh, Party Babies. I have not played that game. What the fucking shit? How about Nintendo Dogs? Nintendo Dogs. I I want to play that. I would. That's the one I would voluntarily play. Maybe the Peach game too. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I like Peach. Whereas the men play Nintendo Dogs, spelled D A W G S. Homies. Yeah. With a Z. It's Thank just a, a, an FMV game that's a recreation of the conflict between the East Coast and the West Coast rappers of the early 90s. But with puppies. And it's about time a game got made about that, frankly. Uh, you know what? We're a little overdue, quite frankly. Please. If you want to jumpstart the Wii U sales, that's how you do it. Yes. Here you have it, from the mouth of the Beatus. Right? Yeah, expert right. on games? Games expert? I think so. Uh, I think maybe so. you should ask Slowbeef to put some of that programming skill on the iPad to good use, and you can get that started. I don't now. think he has any actual programming skill. <laughs> well, then it sounds like you should out of luck. Is he still translating uh, police knots or whatever? Danganronpa? I mean, police knots, yeah. yeah. Probably so. It's been a gold LP, that translation, but just never happens. Didn't he finish that like a decade ago? What the hell is he doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. I finished it like 70 years ago, but... I mean, Danganronpa kind of overshadows police knots in every way, apparently. And this is me having to, you know, we have a tradition on Retsu Talk where Danganronpa is brought up in every episode in some degree, even though Slobby's not here, not here to, to complain about the reports or whatever. I'm here to bring up just the concept of it. I gotta even ask. Even though I'm assuming neither of you have actually read or seen anything about those games. I, it's, it, I was listening to some of your old podcasts, and I've heard it mentioned so many times. And actually, it got to the point where it was just mentioned constantly while I was doing construction work. I started voluntarily hitting my thumb with a hammer, just so I wouldn't have to hear about it anymore. As you should. Oh my gosh. Just the cope. I should have warned you not to have access to any tools or heavy machinery before doing this podcast, because Danganronpa was going to come well, up. Well, that's kind of a problem. Too bad, since uh, apparently his member is a heavy machinery slash tool. So. Oh yeah, because it did fuck a bookcase. Yeah, recently. fucked a bookcase, right, fucked a bookcase and, bookcase. and it completely shredded my pants as a result. What about the bookcase? What happened to it? Ever consider that? Yeah, did you ever think about that? I don't know. Did you Let's call the bookcase book afterwards. Did you cuddle? Is afterwards? the bookcase pregnant? It's asleep right now, so I'm going to, to leave it be. Oh, so you're actually going to start a relationship with the bookcase. I think this relationship has room to grow. So uh, we'll I see. think this relationship is going to have a great shelf life. <laughs> oh, Christ. How did we get back on this from Mario? Good question. I don't really know myself. Well, I guess we just felt like the Mario tangent had, uh, had run its course, so we're going back to uh, callbacks now. Gotcha. Well, in that case, uh, let me let me kind of throw this out here. Then there's mm-hmm. a new system coming out in 
Days. <gasps> uh, the I don't remember if it's the Xbox One or the the PS4. Uh, One of the those PS4, two. I think. Okay, yes, uh, that on Friday. Oh. Uh, and I understand that the X the Xbox is coming out a week later, two weeks later. I don't know. Wow. Um, is it that soon? Wow. I think so. Do they actually have anything on those systems that makes them appealing to either one of you? I have to admit, yes. How, I would never, I would never buy it because of my money situation, which is to not buy video games and to buy food instead. But um, Metal Gear Solid Five. Are we on five now? But that will also be on the PS3 360, will it not? Perhaps it will, but I don't have one of those, so. It's- is this some sort of roundabout way of like you're you're waiting for a, 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 a Fifty Shades of Grey movie tie-in video game? <laughs> no, I'm not waiting for that. In fact, I'm actively dreading that. No, no, it'll be filled with a bunch of QTEs. It'll be awesome. Yeah. Do you want to give the pinching sensation here? Press X. Press X. Shake the controller to the left. Um, they should get David Cage to direct a Fifty Shades of Grey game. That would be the most disgusting, and yet. <laughs> Utterly beautiful wow. thing. They really shouldn't do that. Well, well, just depends on a your perspective, man. No, but okay, Metal Gear. I want that game. It looks fun. It looks good. I don't know. What's... Have you played all the previous Metal Gears? Uh, all of them, no. I won't get myself into that hole again of playing those super old stuff. I played um up from the first one on the PS One up to MGS One. I think. Or, yeah, I guess I did. The one where Snake is old. So the so that is all yeah. of them. No, that's not. Isn't there someone on the Well, SNES? there's a couple for the PSP, I think. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't play you Peace Walker. You can kind of discount those. Peace Walker, you got some canon yes. in there, but... Oh, you're telling me, wait, Metal Gear Acid, the card-playing game, is not canon? <laughs> I, I, I don't and understand And Peace Walker is anymore. downloadable at a reasonable price on PS3 through PlayStation yeah. Network. That is how I played it. That is how you played it. Is it a good game? It is a good game. I would recommend it. Maybe I'll play it at my friend's house, since I don't have a fucking PS3. How did you play Metal Gear 4? At my friend's house. <laughs> How did you play Metal Gear Solid 3? Uh, at my house, because they had it for PS2. Yeah, I do have a PS2. Oh, yeah. How did you play Metal Gear Solid 2? Yes. That was actually the first one I played. Not I a played yes or no question, but okay. Wait, what? Did I miss how did you? He said, how did you play yes! Metal Gear Solid 2? <laughs> how did I play it? No, I my my answer is still yes. Okay. <laughs> Fucking friend havers. How did you play Metal Gear Solid One? With controller, with feelings. I played it with feelings. So you didn't use that controller that they made for RPG games for the PS One, where you could hold it with one hand. No, I didn't. I didn't have that. Not if, that controller. A basic for, controller. Yes, a basic controller. If for some reason. Have you ever used that controller? They so, Sony made a a one handed controller that was I think engineered specifically to play role-playing games, so you could, like, jerk off with one hand and play uh, is that a game real? with you. Play Final Fantasy VII with the other hand while you look at Tifa's boobs. I'm yeah. gonna look as this early, up right now. As early as the PS1, that was a thing? That's crazy! Wow, that is incredible. That looks amazing. Uh-huh. I actually y- remember using that controller back in the day to play some FF7. And, yeah, it worked. It worked for RPG games. I don't think it would work, really, for many other games. That's, uh, that is truly something impressive, looking at it right now. There's... Literally no reason why you would need just that minimal amount of controller unless you were jerking off with the other hand, though. Yeah, a, a buddy of mine got the controller, and we would hang out at his place and just alternate playing the game uh, RPGs together. Wow. And I can only imagine that we were both jerking off the entire it's, time. Yeah, is the only reason some kind that, of code that talk? Happened? Playing RPGs together is some kind of code talk for, like, doing some other things together. Yeah, just massive circle jerks happening all 69. the time. I believe it's actually referred to as the Devil's Triangle. <laughs> it is. It is. If there was uh, more than uh, two of you there, you know, three of you maybe, uh, I'll just shut up now. Oh, occasionally a third would show up. Hey, hey. hey. The PlayStation controller was the third yeah. person. It's at the end. I just uh, linked it uh, for you guys to take a look at if you want to relive that trip down memory lane. Oh, oh please, I remember what it looked I've like. I've already seen You're it. You're looking all. up right now over your fireplace and it's up there on the mantle. It is. I can just close my eyes and see it, in my imagination even. Uh, I, now, I have to confess, I've never played any of the Metal Gear Solid games, with one exception. Mm-hmm. And that was uh, when I was trying out Metal Gear Acid on the uh, the, the PISP. 
the piss. And so you've had the opposite experience of pretty much literally yeah, everything. How does yes, it... and I did not enjoy it somehow, amazingly. Let me just ask you. That was the card game, right? Roosevelt, yes. a question. How does it feel to be worse than me? Just in this one aspect, you are a worse gamer than me. How does that feel? Pretty this bad. is where Roosevelt confesses that he's actually also a girl gamer. I, I, are you a girl too? I've been yes, I've been Charles the entire time. Plot twist. Oh my god! And I've been Roosevelt the entire time. Yeah, we just Sorry, decided guys. back in two thousand five or two thousand six to uh, switch handles with each other, and nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. And we're extremely good at uh, imitating each other's voices and uh, mannerisms and typing styles. And uh, nobody just... That, that was why we were both gone for a bit in the LP world. We were, you know, ironing out the kinks, if you will, <laughs> to our... Uh, I can't tell the difference between you. I enjoyed how you managed to capture my style of not even trying. Thanks. It means a lot. Oh. Uh, no, but seriously, I, I, I tried Acid first. That was the first experience that I had with uh with with metal gear and it was surprisingly not a good one i mean based on everything i've heard about acid all i can say is i'm i'm sorry uh it i you know i i just i don't think i'm going to pick up another metal gear solid game and really? it's, it's disappointing because i've heard so many good so things. it's like Yu Gi Oh in the metal gear universe right pretty much like you have to draw a card and uh, you know, you're 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 sneaking up on people, and you're you're wearing your little box thing, and then you like draw a card that'll allow you to shoot somebody, but you forget to draw a card with a silencer, and then a bunch of dolls show up, some marionettes and shit, and they're telling you what to do, and that's all within the first five minutes of the game. So I don't know what happens after that because I couldn't beat that guard. That sounds like the plot to every Metal Gear game, yeah, though, to be honest with you. Straight down to the marionettes. Oh yeah, completely. Totally. They might have been twin children. I don't remember. Are you sure you weren't watching The Shining? I, I was going to say, it's like they were going for The Shining, but if The Shining also had a complicated card, some sort of card game uh, to advance the plot, it was, uh, I, I, I did not, uh, I did not enjoy it. Needless well, to my say. recommendation for you is to play Metal Gear Solid 3. That is also my recommendation. Fuck the first two games. Who cares all that much? Just play three. Okay. Do I need to know anything about the background nope. story? Nope. Nope. Not really. Chronologically speaking, it's a good place to start. I think. It helps to know, like, this guy might be a younger version of this guy. I'm basically talking about Ocelot, and then maybe a little bit about Snake's backstory, but eh, it's, it's not, not essential. essential. It it mo the MGS three mostly stands. I feel like you can jump right into okay. this game, and I would yeah, I would suggest you play it, even though you hate Metal Gear games because of the one shitty game. Well, let me let me ask you this then. Uh, I, what system is that even for? The, the... PlayStation Two. Yeah. It was for PlayStation Two. You can probably download it for PS three if you happen to have that. Uh, no, unfortunately, I gave mine away when we raised all that money for Drackle as uh, a reward for him not dying. Awesome. That's sweet. I'm glad Drackle's not dead. I, I actually didn't follow up. He might conceivably be dead now. Oh. Somebody probably killed him for his PS3. Well, RIP. We'll record a couple of different versions of this, depending on if he's alive or dead. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I was actually thinking, I mentioned it earlier in the chat of uh, uh, when I canceled my uh, system pre-orders, maybe just getting a, a PS3 now and getting some of those great late system games that came out, uh, such as... The Last of Us? Very good game. GTA Fives? I heard that was good. Very good game. Well, pretty good game. I, I don't know what else has uh, come out recently, but uh, maybe anything Uncharted? <laughs> yeah. Those are fun. Have you played Uncharted 2? I have not. I played the first one years ago, and I enjoyed it immensely. Yeah. Play Uncharted 2. You don't have to play Uncharted 3. Is Uncharted 3 the one with the multiplayer? Uncharted 2 has multiplayer too, though it's probably dead by now. I think it does, doesn't it? Not sure. I think it does. Uh, is the plot Uncharted 2 is PS3? Surely it has multiplayer. Every PS3 game has Every multiplayer. It's the wall. All of them. I, come on. Yeah, come on. I I would say get a PS3. This is coming from somebody who will never buy anything. I like to get a PS3 around when PS4 launches. You can get it for incredibly cheap. Yeah. Get access to PSN. You can download Metal Gear Solid 3 
and Peace Walker, I think, like packaged together for and like, what about, twenty bucks. And what about Dark Souls? Holy crap, that's the best game. No, oh, Jesus. But Christ. I'm an impatient man. I can't wait seventy two hours. Well, I suggest you find something to do, maybe with your bookcase. Maybe read a Fifty Shades of Grey a few Perhaps times. Perhaps you should. I'll, I'll look into that for you. So then, why a uh, why a PS3 and not say uh, an Xbox 360? Because fuck Microsoft. Well, I'm very biased. I have never owned a 360. The same friend that has a PS3 had a 360, and we didn't use it all that often. I've never been a Haloer. Did you just refer to yourself as a Halo lover? A Haloer. Halo. Haloer. Halo. I'm Diabetes. Halo. I am Charles. I'm going to move that audio at the beginning. Of the I, I'm not. I'm not getting involved, involved in that. I'm you are not in the club. Okay, that's fair. No. Well, I, I, I'm just. I'm just curious then because I know that Microsoft has built themselves up a lot of ill will with their latest console release, but the majority of gamers, you know, casual gamers, probably aren't going to give a shit. Or people are so wedded to the uh, the systems and the companies that put them out that they don't care. No, the cash gamers won't care too much about, you know, they're the ones who will play the Call of Duties, they'll play the new Halos, they'll play the new Xbox Lives, whatever will come out, they'll just want to get in there and call each other faggots and shit. That's what they do. I mean, that's that's kind of a weird... Like, would you call... What, what would I call myself then? I'm not a casual gamer. I casually play games. <laughs> Please don't say the word casual on this podcast. Okay, You, well. you play Kaz games badly? No, 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 no. I I play a game when I have a time, when I have a money. The last thing I played, I think, was like Pokemon Black or something. Why you not have a time for a game? Also, why do you say that so pejoratively? Oh, say what so pejoratively? Yeah, yeah, Pokemon on the blah, blah, blah. Well, because the new Pokemon came out and everybody has it but me, because I don't have a It's true, I... I even have it right here, and you can enjoy the Pokemon experience, too, by downloading the soundtrack off of iTunes uh, for some reason. Hmm. As somebody just informed me. The soundtrack? Yes. Why? Was, is, huh? is, is Pokemon known for its quality soundtracks? I was absolutely baffled when I heard that. I, the, the, the music roughly all sounds the same, the exact same, with maybe one or two tracks that stick out over the course of however many games have been in the series. There's no reason why it should be for sale in the iTunes store, and yet it is. How much is it? Uh, that's a good question. Let me pull it up here and find why out. Why don't you tell us that? Ninety dollars. Eighty-five dollars. You got to catch all of these tracks in your ears. All two hundred twelve tracks from Pokemon. Two hundred and twelve. What? Christ. what? <laughs> Wait, a- is this in one game, or is this like all of the games? No, no. It says uh, all of the uh, two hundred twelve tracks from X and Y. Jesus. Does each Pokemon have its own theme song? Well, there's only 150, so that means they still padded it out with uh, an additional 62 tracks. Here's the Looking for Pokemon track and 60 other variations. Wowzers! Why don't you buy it and review it? I'm, I'm genuinely uh, curious now. I want to see what they're, what they're charging for this. But, uh, and this could tide you, you over. You can probably just listen to a YouTube playlist of all the Pokemon that is tracks. Oh, it's true. only $10. I mean, ten dollars if you wanted to listen. Ten dollars for two hundred twelve tracks. Hey, that's, hey, that's a bargain. That's, that's twenty seconds of trainer's eyes made for uh, for either a young man or lass. Ooh. All right, you're getting two tracks there. Two tracks for a mere ninety nine cents. All right, that's a good deal. I I bought it twice. Yeah, I bought it two hundred twelve times. I bought it uh, uh, two hundred twelve times, two hundred twelve times because I just love this Pokemon so much. I I, I just like a good. 30 of these tracks are just things from fake videos that you can make in the game. You can make fake videos in Pokemon? Yes, yeah, so you can make a fake uh, little intro video for, for people so that when you, you pass by them on your street pass, they can see, like, oh my god, this, this is this person. They made it this anime introduction of themselves in, in the world of Pokemon. Pokemon has evolved far past my initial understanding of it. it it's still all about the cockfighting aspect. Okay. Right. It's just that now they added uh, things like you you can brush your monster, or you can. Uh, I do that in real life. Is is the monster you? Are you the monster that you're brushing? Do you collect yourself? Yeah, sometimes. There, there's one track here that's listed as GIS. I guess that's for Google Image Search. <laughs> right. Google Image Search. If you want to get the album <laughs> art for the soundtrack, then you know just a stare at while you're listening to it. Although speaking of video game music, that 
perhaps people wouldn't buy an album of. I really liked all the Wii music, like the like the shop music, the weather music. Am I crazy? I thought it was really good. Uh, for the uh, the Wii background stuff. No, just stuff. the Wii. The oh, system. just the Wii. <laughs> yeah, just the Wii. What about the updating music? I don't remember what the updating music's like. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> Wii music. No, it, it was just so easy to listen to. La, 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 la. I, I think that's it was purposely designed in that manner because uh, otherwise, a, well, it had to have been. Yeah, yeah like it, it would. The, the the problem is that it had uh, updates that took so long that uh, you needed something that was that was going to be pleasing to the ear. I just listen. There are no problems with the Wii. No problems. No, I'm I'm kidding, of course, but. When the Wii first came out, I remember being really, really excited, and I've always had a lot of fun playing that game. Probably because I'm just a piece of shit who isn't thinking properly, I'm sure somebody on the internet will say. But I've always enjoyed those games, and I thought they were fun. Like the WarioWare games, etc. I believe you mean Wario? Um, per- Thank you. Perhaps if I were in, the, in a third world country, aka your state, I a would say that A third world way. country, two hours north of where you are? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. You damn Yankees and your backwards ways. Way to tell everybody where I live relative to you, asshole. You said Virginia earlier in the podcast. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> well, well, history will decide. I guess history will fucking decide. Just edit that out in post. Okay. Yeah, do it. Oh no, shit, wait, this is a live live podcast. Ah, fuck. No, this is Yeah, live. we're performing in front of an audience who is very silent and judging right now. <laughs> As usual, this is not edited in any way. Every sort of thing that you think is being altered is just an extension of diabetes' will. Yeah. Yeah. We're merely pawns. He's the decider. Well, guys, let's wrap it up. We're well over the hour mark. We are. We are. Any bad. final thoughts? Um, slow beef, come back. <laughs> Please. Please. Police. What, what? This is what the podcast is like when you're conveniently are working. <sighs> when are you going to have Zorak on? He was my teen idol. We could have mod chat have on mod the next Retsu talk. Mod to mod. Mod to mod. Bod to bod. Never go mod to mod. Mod to mod. Butt to butt. Get mod mod drugs. Mod drugs. Butt drugs. Mod to mod. Mod, mod to drugs bod. and butt drugs are roughly the same thing. Uh, oh, ooh, mod sass diabetes. They're exactly the Dial same. Dial it back thing. there. Careful there. Mod sass. I think you're tipping a little too much about what goes on in that secret forum. Oh, I know things. I've heard things. Things I've heard. You could never know. Through Retsu Prey Osmosis. I know what Slow Beef does. Are you guys... You guys are Siamese twins, right? We actually are each other's parachute accounts. Oh, now it makes complete sense. Wait, which yeah. one of you guys was that poster face butt, then? It was, it was just uh, a picture of a guy that, with a That, with that a was the first for... draft. That was both of them sorts. together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that was the first draft that got That was away. a share account that got banned. Oh, yeah. that's why it had four cheeks on the, on the it, face. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You can't have face butt drugs. How does that make sense? You tell it me. It would just be regular face drugs. Tell me, face butt drug taker. Oh, good God. I got nothing. Um, isn't this the part of the, 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 the podcast where you usually talk about your upcoming projects? No. Oh, yeah, this is, is uh, plugs. We've got to have plugs. Plugs! I have no plugs because I have nothing going on. But what about you two? Uh, Dr. Roosevelt, any plugs? Uh, I don't have anything that's actually happening yet because uh, I haven't gotten my commentators together for it, but look for something soon by me that'll actually show a modicum of effort. Excellent. And Charles, you have the Holy Cast. I do. We have Holy Cast That's So Freaking Pod. Sorry. Holy Cast So Freaking Pod. Excuse me. And um, perhaps sometime around December, I'll be upgrading my laptop computer with some memory, and then maybe I can do an LP, guys. So watch out around, uh, you know, a month from now. Maybe something will happen. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed! Uh, perhaps we can follow your misadventures on your tweet zone. Oh, about God, this. please or don't. Not. <laughs> no, uh... All right, then. Uh, do what you want. My Twitter is... It's not for the faint of heart. Don't go there if you don't want a heart attack. So do go there if you do want a heart attack. So that's at you don't want a heart attack on Twitter. Correct. And there's three U's in that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dr. Roosevelt, do you have a Twitter? Oh, fucking name follow? dropper. Oh, God. As always, I can be followed at, uh, at symbol. 
Doc Roosevelt. Uh, you will know that it's the proper account if I'm being unfunny and posting pictures of my cat. Do you promise always? Of course. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we did it, guys. I think we've done my it. My pinch hitters. Pinch splitters. Pin- huh? What, what, what <laughs> was that noise? Somebody that was a, so an iPhone application doing a thing. Oh, my. That was adorable. That, w- that was the uh, me giving the uh, cut sign. I thought that was like yeah, the, you so. giving a thumbs up and uh, you know you just said the like, little... End it here! I thought tone. it signified the uh, end of the podcast. It right. does now. It does now. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Get in on that hood, Danny. <laughs>